Good morning. Praise to the Lord, the Almighty, the King of creation. O my soul, praise him, for he is your health and salvation. Come, O who hear, now to his altar draw near, joining in glad adoration. Praise to the Lord who shall prosper our work and defend us. Surely his goodness and mercy shall daily attend us. Thunder anew, what the Almighty can do, who with his love will befriend us. My friends, let us begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Today the Church remembers in a special way St. Francis Xavier, the priest Jesuit uh, who preached for the most part in Asia, in India, Sri Lanka, Malaysia, Japan. Uh, he's a patron of, uh, <clears throat> of prayer and foreign missions. He's also a patron of the first parish that I served when I was ordained a priest. And, uh, uh, I often called it like a baptism by fire, uh, the parish where I was in Fort Myers, uh, because uh, my pastor put me to work. <laughs> we had a big school, we had a huge hospital, which I had to visit daily. Um, I was a chaplain of two jails uh, in Fort Myers, one maximum security. Um, we had two daily masses, one at 6.45 in the morning, one at 8.15, and the pastor liked to give me the 6.45 for whatever reason. But it was a great experience. It was, uh, it was a great parish that I will always remember. As we come together to celebrate this holy mass, we first turn to our merciful Father and ask him to forgive us for our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who through the preaching of St. Francis Xavier, won many people to yourself. Grant that the hearts of the faithful may burn with the same zeal for the faith, and that Holy Church may everywhere rejoice in an abundance of offspring. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. On that day, they will sing this song in the land of Judah. A strong city have we. He sets up walls and ramparts to protect us. Open up the gates to let in a nation that is just, one that keeps faith. A nation of firm purpose you keep in peace, in peace for its trust in you. Trust in the Lord forever, for the Lord is an eternal rock. He humbles those in high places, and the lofty city he brings down. He tumbles it to the ground, levels it with the dust. It is trampled underfoot by the needy, by the footsteps of the poor. The word of the Lord. Amen. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in man. 
It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in princes. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Open to me the gates of justice. I will enter them and give thanks to the Lord. This gate is the Lord's, the just shall enter it. I will give thanks to you, for you have answered me and have been my savior. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O Lord, grant salvation. O Lord, grant prosperity. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. The Lord is God, and he has given us light. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only the one who does the will of my Father in heaven. <clears throat> everyone who listens to these words of mine and acts on them will be like a wise man who built his house on rock. The rain fell, the floods came, and the winds blew and buffeted the house, but it did not collapse. It had been set solidly on rock. And everyone who listens to these words of mine but does not act on them will be like a fool who built his house on sand. The rain fell, the floods came, and the winds blew and buffeted the house, and it collapsed and was completely ruined. The Gospel of the Lord. This year we have discovered exactly what our houses are made of. In the midst of this pandemic, the foundation of our houses proved stronger than we might have thought. When confronted with the challenges of the COVID-19, we realized that our home was built on a solid foundation of generosity and compassion. In our care for one another, we were blessed to discover that our houses were made of walls of patience, and kindness, that our roofs held to keep out the rains of despair and fear, that our hearts provided the warmth of comfort and the light of trust, trust in our Lord. Well, there were moments when cracks, cracks of panic appeared or frustration blew through the walls. But most of us have come to a new appreciation for our homes and the loving folks who live there. Our rock solid homes made it through everything from homeschooling to toilet paper shortage, shortages. My friends, this Advent may we replace whatever sand weakens our home's foundation and replace it with a piece of the Christ who comes with real trust in our Lord. May God come and make his dwelling place in our homes. May he come and be the rock of love and peace on which we set our homes. May he come and be the ever-present guest at our tables. May he come and be the light and fire that warms our homes and our hearts.
Acknowledging the storms that enter our lives from time to time, we now call upon the power of God that we may be quick to invite the Lord into our lives when shaken by conflict or pain, let us pray to the Lord. That those in need of God's healing grace may find us, finding us a compassionate friend, let us pray to the Lord. That calling to mind the life of St. Francis Xavier will help us appreciate the rich heritage of mission work we possess in the church and bring the world closer to, to God. Let us pray to the Lord. For peace in the world, for our lonely and aging, for our troops, for an end to abortion and euthanasia, for the ill of our parish, especially those on our prayer list, let us pray to the Lord. That those who have died may now dwell in the house of the Lord for all time to come, let us pray to the Lord. We pray in a special way for John P. Murphy, for whom this Mass is being offered. We pray to the Lord. In a moment of silence, let us present to God all of our intentions. We pray to the Lord. Almighty God, help us to answer your invitation to build our homes upon the grace and wisdom imparted to us by your Son. We pray through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this word and mine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, these offerings we bring you in commemoration of St. Francis Xavier, and grant that as he journeyed to distant lands out of longing for the salvation of souls, so we too, bearing effective witness to the gospel, may with our brothers and sisters eagerly hasten towards you. Through Christ our Lord, amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Francis Xavier, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord. <clears throat> Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Frank, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us now pray together in the words our Savior gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. <clears throat> Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us now share this peace with one another. Lamb of God, behold the Lamb of God. 
Behold him who takes away the sons of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. May your mystery, O God, kindle in us that fire of charity with which St. Francis Xavier burned for the salvation of souls, so that walking ever more worthily in our vocation, we may obtain with him the reward you promise to those who labor well in your harvest. Through Christ our Lord, amen. And the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, amen. This Mass is ended. Let us now go in peace. Have a beautiful day. Thank you. Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, early in the morning, holy, 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 merciful and mighty, God in three persons, Blessed Trinity, holy, 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 all the saints adore thee, casting down their golden crowns around the glassy sea, cherubim and seraphim falling down before thee. Which word and part and evermore shall be.